The 80s and 90s was a very interesting and nostalgic era in motocross. Lots of bright colored gear and awesome racing, but the thing that might have stood out the most was the custom painted helmets of the top riders in motocross. Let's check out several different riders and their helmets, as these riders had the best helmets in motocross history. Let's begin. Troy Lee was the innovator of the custom helmet era in motocross. Troy quickly made a name for himself as his paint jobs were epic and so were the riders wearing them. Jeremy McGrath would top this list. Let's check out some of his helmets. Here. This one was the 1991 when I got my first factory ride. Uh, I think this helmet right here was the actual first version of the bubble design. So now we're on to these bubbles, right? But this is the actual first one and this is 1994. This is a production net helmet that came out later. And then this was the one in 96 right here that I won all the races with, 14 races, I think that year out of 15 Supercrosses. Down here we got my Motocross of Nations helmet from, I think that one's 94, maybe. McGrath has an endless amount of custom helmets painted by Troy Lee, which spanned his whole career. Troy Lee got very creative with McGrath's helmet designs. He even included some $100 bills, lights, and more. Why not throw in some lamp tassels? Troy and I, over the years, have come up with some crazy stuff. I mean, we have, you can look at this book right here. It's got like a flag off the back. Lampshade dingleberries around your helmet. Around my helmet. And we've had tail lights, we've had lights up of here, we've had a flag, we've had all kinds of stuff. There was no shortage of variety. McGrath's custom helmets spanned across all the different bike manufacturers he raced for. Comment which McGrath helmet is your favorite and make sure to include the timestamp. Mike Kudrowski had some fan favorites. Mike LaRocco is next. Larry Ward's helmets are some of my personal favorites. Like Larry Ward Pastrana is high on my list. Steve Lampson had some good lids. Ricky Johnson had some nice simple styles. Jeff Matasevich had one of the most unique helmet designs in motocross. Like Ricky Johnson, Jeff Stanton had some nice, simple helmets. Damon Bradshaw is next. What do you think about Jeff Emig's helmets?
Doug Henry had some cool ones. Ryan Hughes had some solid lids. Jeff Ward is next. The Osho had some nice designs. David Pingree's looked sharp. Now let's look at a compilation of helmets from several different riders. Any guesses on how many custom helmets Troy Lee has painted? So, on the wall, on the, on the shelf here, you can see all my, that's from like 87, the very first one, not the car racing helmet, but the very first dirt bike helmet was a Moto 5, I think. And, and it started there, and you can see my whole, like, these are most helmets from my career, with the exception of the ones you saw up in the hallway. Probably like 30 helmets right here, 35 helmets. And I know at Troy's office, he has probably like 10 helmets. I want you guys to comment your top three favorite helmets in this video. Include the timestamp if you can. What an era it was with all these custom helmets. Do we ever see this kind of customization again in the future? I sure hope so. We'll see you guys next time.